Anthony Joshua is currently out in Austria sparring with Vladimir Klitschko, helping him prepare for his fight with Kubrat Pulev. And at the same time, Dillian White, who is Anthony Joshua's amateur rival and fellow UK heavyweight prospect, both unbeaten, he's also out in Germany sparring Vladimir Klitschko at the very same time. I wonder if the two of them are going to get in and spar with each other during that camp. I wonder. Anthony Joshua, as far as I'm concerned, would be better off with, with a different trainer. No disrespect to Tony Sims, but I'd rather see Anthony Joshua in more experienced hands. And you've got people like James Ali Bashir out there. So if one of those guys could get in his ear and persuade him to cross over, then I think it would be a good move for Anthony Joshua. I saw there's actually a, uh, interviews both on the same channel what's on the box rec youtube channel is an interview with anthony joshua and he's in the klitschko camp out there in austria and he's talking about sparring vladimir and he's also talking about his rivalry with dillian white which he's never really spoken about before he's been asked about it before but he's kind of kind of been evasive when he's asked before about dillian white and also there's an interview with dillian white who's also talking about uh his experience out there sparring with Vladimir Klitschko, what the trainers James Ali Bashir and Jonathan Banks have been showing him, and also his rivalry with Anthony Joshua. And during that interview with Dillian White, you can see Anthony Joshua in the background warming up in the mirror, shadow boxing. So it's interesting but them both being out there. Uh, I think Anthony Joshua, it's long overdue that he's got some good sparring, long overdue, uh, top quality sparring, because Dillian White, even though he's been a pro a bit longer than Anthony Joshua, He's had an 18 month or two year ban. I believe it's 18 months or two years. So he's kind of been held back for two years. And during that time, Anthony Joshua turned professional and he's been having fights. But from the very beginning of Dillian White's professional career, he was sparring with some of the best fighters in the world. He sparred David Price. He sparred David Hay. He sparred uh, Vladimir and Vitaly Klitschko. He sparred Derek Chisora. The guy sparred top, top, top people heavyweights around the world and he's been doing so for the last few years Dillian White from the beginning of his career so Anthony Joshua kind of needs to play catch up a little bit in terms of the quality of sparring that he's been getting so I'm glad he's out there in Germany finally getting some good sparring in and I'd love to be a fly on the wall to see his sessions with Vladimir Klitschko obviously Anthony Joshua in the interview says that he's not on Vladimir Klitschko's level yet but that he relishes the chance to spar with Vladimir because it's unusual for him to be able to get in the ring with someone that can actually compete with him. He's used to getting the better of everyone, not only in his fights, but also in sparring, at least according to him. So I'd love to be a fly on the wall and see it. There's no footage of him sparring Vladimir, but there is pictures. If you're on Facebook, you can go to Anthony Joshua's Facebook page and you'll see pictures of him sparring Vladimir Klitschko. I did post them also to my timeline on my Facebook and to my Facebook group, Hatman Boxing. So you can go check them out wherever. So let me know what you think, man. This rivalry between Joshua and Dillian White. Dillian White's trainer, Chris Oko, he seems very bullish about the, uh, the idea that Dillian White could beat Anthony Joshua again. Because they fought in the amateurs, if you don't know. They fought in the amateurs. It was... I think Anthony Joshua's third fight and Dillian White's first or second fight. So they were both very inexperienced and Dillian White won on points. He dropped Anthony Joshua en route to that points decision. So it'd be interesting to see them reignite that rivalry as a pro. But in these particular interviews, neither of them really wanted to start talking shit. <laughs> they were in a close proximity to, proximity to each other while these interviews were being, you know, being conducted. But, uh, Chris Oko, like I say, Dillian White's trainer has been very, very bullish about it and he's not convinced about Anthony Joshua as a prospect. He believes that Dillian White would beat him even now. So, yeah, interesting. For those of you who don't know who Anthony Joshua is, he's a UK heavyweight prospect, big guy, athletic, strong. He was in the Olympics. He won an Olympic medal, gold medal. He also was in the World Championships as an amateur, won a silver medal in the World Championships in a very close fight. And uh, he was actually a very inexperienced amateur. He only had I think 30 something fights in total. He was only amateur for about three or four years. So he achieved a hell of a lot in a short space of time, whether you think he won, deserved to win the Olympics or not. He won other competitions legitimately and he beat Camarel legitimately in the world championships. 
and got a silver medal there. So he's definitely got a hell of a lot of potential and it'd be interesting to see how far he can go. And as far as Dillian White, he's come up the hard way, I guess. His career has been much more under the radar than Anthony Joshua. He hasn't had all the fanfare. He didn't get to go to the Olympics and he was quite pissed off about that. So he turned pro and he's been doing fairly well so far up until the ban. We'll see what happens. I believe he's coming back in October or November. His comeback fight. I'll be looking forward to see who it's against and uh, get this rivalry going with Joshua. Drop your comments below. This is Hatman. I'm out.